This tutorial is going to real quickly show you how to copy and paste attributes in DaVinci Resolve. So you can take a look here. I've got this video, which I've zoomed in and I've adjusted the position. And I also applied a adjustment layer in the collar page. So, but I've got all these other clips as well, and I want to do those exact same adjustments to the other clips. So if we go here, you can see, has it happened? I don't want to do it multiple times. I actually want to do it much quicker than that. So it's easy enough, actually. So first things you do, of course, is make whatever adjustments that you want to make to the video clip. Then just do a simple Control C on your keyboard or, um, or Option C, I think it is on a Mac. And then you go over to the clip that you want to copy it to, click on it, right click, and then you've got this option, Paste Attributes. It'll pull up a Paste Attributes window. By default, they're actually all going to be unchecked. So if you only want to copy certain things, like let's say you just want to copy the transformation, you can adjust, you can do those as well. Uh, in my case, I actually want to copy everything. So I'm going to actually check the video attributes. So that way it checks everything and then hit apply. And you see, copied it all over. Well, I don't want to do that individually. I want to do that all of them at the same time. That's not a problem either. So just make sure you've done your control C just like normal. Oops, give myself a little more space. Grab them all and do your paste attributes, do all your checks again, hit apply, and now you'll see that it has been applied to each of the clips. When you go into the color page, you'll also see the little notification that lets you know that custom effects have been applied. So I actually missed one here. And so now I know that I missed one and I can use that same method. There's a different way if you actually want to copy attributes in the color page. I've got a video on that. And if you want to know how to do the masking, I'll throw the link down below as well. I've got a separate video on that. So, but in the edit page, in order to do it, that's how you do it there, paste attributes.